Hi, Matt. Hi, Patricia. Pleasure to meet you. This is Pooja from Good Times India. I have been a fan, so it's my honor to sit across and speak with the two of you. What is it like when to create a people and versatile talent like the two of you come together? What is the creative energy like? Well, for me, it was so exciting to work with everyone, but I'd wanted to work with Matt since, you know, since I started my career. And then I didn't know if that would ever really happen. And then this was just the perfect parts and so fun to play together. So I was completely thrilled. I was so happy to show up every day at work and work with all of these incredibly talented people. Yeah. Well, I've really always been a big fan of Patricia's. I mean, in so much of her work is so good. It's such a great body of work. So, and it and it is. It's one of the nice things. There's a lot of shit I don't like in this business. Let's be honest. But the surprises that happen, and working with other creative people, and Patricia and the rest of this team was really good. And the writing was good. So, and we had fun. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot. She's great. Yeah. You know. I can see that you had a whole lot of fun. It's such a it's wacky we had a lot of fun. <laughs> show you know and patricia playing peggy you know she's an oddball you feel bad for her a bit of a slacker she's so many things but she's enjoying herself how do you get into the headspace of a character like that um yeah i mean i think she's self-deceiving too a lot uh she's a hustler she loves people she picks up broken birds she thinks she's the boss of everything you know she loves denny he's her weakness um, she, she at a very early age, like was put in a parental position. So she feels like she has to take everyone, you know, and she also complicates her life. So she doesn't have to look at her own issues. Yeah. So she's got to keep a kind of circus happening all the time. So she doesn't really look at her own pain. And Matt playing Denny, by the way, I must tell you, our necklaces are quite the talk of the town. But, you know, for somebody who's down, I mean, your arc as an actor is absolutely brilliant. Has the process changed? And what was it about Denny that made you say, hey, I want to do this? Um, well, to answer your question about Denny and why I wanted to do it, well, I talked about how group, how much I liked the group. You know, there were some things that we worked on on the character of Denny. But what was beautiful were, was this, these writers really loved the characters, you know. And that's all they wanted. They weren't concerned about, you know, some plot point in episode three. It was really about the people and the characters. And the, you talked about the backstory of, of Peggy. And Denny has a great backstory. You know, this is this makes your life in playing a character so much easier. These are rich, really rich characters. And, you know, there's a lot of humor in it, too. And I like comedy. And Patricia's good at it. She's really funny. And uh, we had, you know, it was a lot of fun. You know, the characters, I think they both, you know, they sort of found each other and they both have the same kind of, you know, inability to to be completely honest, you know. They're, that is part of it. It's very human, very human. I mean, yeah, you could say they're oddballs, but they're also very human. I think everybody can kind of relate. To people like this they know people like this or they can see something of themselves in these characters but i have to say also reading denny's part before matt came in and then matt coming in and his ideas and the blending of the writers and matt's ideas and that realization of those really added many many more layers of depth and that's the kind of actor that matt is too he's generous he's a a team player he's a supporter and he also elevates material and he has throughout his career and that's one of the great gifts when you hire matt that's you so get nice. material that gets just better and better awesome. bob the guru and carol did you enjoy the trippy ride as much as we did yes very much <laughs> yeah it's it's a it was a wild ride to make and we really hope and glad that you found it to watch the same way my words are coming out funny it makes sense though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. And Rupert, you know, it's very interesting. He has an interesting arc and he's the man that she's founding. What was it like to get into the mind space of this character who a former anchorman is now the mystic of the desert? 
Yeah, <laughs> that's a very good way of putting it. I might steal that. Thank you. Well, it's lovely because, you know, sometimes when you play a character who's undergone a transformation of some kind that happened off screen before, uh, before the show or the movie starts. And in this, we get to see Bob as he is now and then kind of go back in time and find out why he became that way and how and the process and what that meant. So I, the, 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 the work, as it were, all happens on screen for us all to see. It's not like something in my head, which is really, really gratifying. And very much, I like the fact, I like Carol. And also I know that you're one person who's always stood for how, you know, women of color have always been given these you need dimensional, one dimensional roles, you know, and your uh, filmography is proof that you've been just doing some, playing some very interesting characters. What was it like to understand Carol? Because she's going through a lot as well as our friend Bob the Guru here. <laughs> okay, so I really enjoyed playing Carol because I hadn't played anyone like her before. Um, being this, you know, kind of authority figure and being the supportive, oh, I have been, you know, the supportive friend before, but it was very wonderful to play a different version of um, myself, I guess, of Carol, a, a, a different character to what I've had, like you said, in my filmography. But it was fun to do, and I guess I had to tap into a moment of zenness because I think that is what Carol brings to the situation. And um, that was that was fun because, again, it was a challenge for me. I'm personally not anything like Carol. <laughs> so uh, I had to accept and, you know, practice some stillness. And I think uh, hopefully that comes across. Yeah. And Rupert, what about you? Because, you know, you are someone who's been very open about the fact that whether you like your character, whether you can understand your character like Anatomy of a Scandal. Bob, how, what was it like? understanding him uh, and for that matter has your process changed as an actor oh interesting question yeah i mean i think you can understand somebody without liking them um and uh, as you referenced the anatomy of a scandal was absolutely that um i think bob would be an impossible pain in the ass to hang out with i, I don't think he's interested in anything except himself which is, you know, we know people like that in the world. Some of them are running countries, um, but it's like, uh, it's very boring being with somebody who never asks you a question or wants to know anything about your point of view. And I have a feeling that's what Bob would be like. But at the same time, I think you'd end up in some kind of escapade with him because he's, he's a con artist as well. He's a crook. So those people are maybe not the best people to hang out with, but they're not boring. <laughs> Between play, having played a politician and a guru, which one would you actually choose to spend time with? Oh, a guru, any day. <laughs> any day. Oh, my God. Easy question. <laughs> Hopefully a real guru would be, I, that I would actually very much enjoy. A fake guru, I, I still would take that over a politician. <laughs> you know, the latter are far more in a population now than the former, so we'll have to wait for that one. But guys, thank you so much for speaking to me. Any plans to visit India? Oh, I would love to. So would I. Would love to. Yeah, it's the my. It's very much. It's top of my list because I can't quite believe I've never been there. My wife has and just loved it. And I have friends who go regularly. So yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, looking forward to hosting you here in my country. I watched the show. It's absolutely trippy. It's absolutely <laughs> wacked up. So what was your reaction when you know it came to you on paper and you were like, "Oh my god." <laughs> That's I love. I love the word that you use, trippy. I mean, that is it, right? Like I remember reading it for the first time and going, "Oh, right." When you think that it's this, it's not, and it's it sort of it does. It keeps you sort of guessing, and it, but it is. It's a wild sort of trippy ride. Yeah, I yeah. think you know, you know, for us coming coming together um, as the the siblings, the three siblings, when we sat down together to sort of read those scenes, it, it a we immediately felt this chemistry and connection. And we all started talking about our own stories and family stories and what happens when a, when a, when a, a parent dies or what happens, you know, what is that dynamic? And I think, you know, throughout the sort of, you know, wild sort of trippy romp that the show is, there is this grounded place for where you really see Peggy wanting to to like she loves them so much they're her younger brother and sister and she just she wants to do right by them and i think there's something so relatable there you know so i feel like in 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 a lot of our scenes um 
throughout her craziness, there are the moments where you see her really trying to yeah. to to connect with us and and you know do us proud in yeah. a way. So yeah. that felt very relatable. You are like are the sedate uh, siblings to her, you know, craziness. You know, literally. So right. what was the? I mean, you know, it's such an amazing cast. What was it like? All of you coming together. Was it really a party off camera as well? <laughs> it, look, it was incredibly fun to shoot. I think, unfortunately, there there are there are so many you know different rich wild characters with their own storylines that we didn't intersect like all that often, right? Like we had the sibling things. What was great is I think the very opening of the show that was originally supposed to be later, but they moved it. To the, it's this really long one shot, and I think you know they had a lot of us there for that. So that was really nice to sort of meet everybody and and get to work with some of the rest of the cast. But I mean, what an extraordinary cast. It was just everyone sort of fits right into this world. It's really great. <laughs> Christina, are you anything like Deanne? And I want to know what if the Brady Bunch was to meet Peggy and her siblings, what would that party be like? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that they would be in complete shock and awe of, of who this this older sibling would have been. But um yeah, I I, I do really feel like um, there there is something that in in Peggy's sort of you know larger than life personality and her ideas that we who are the siblings that are you know rule followers and live more traditional lifestyles there's something sort of like amazing in in how she is able to walk through life and 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 how she ends up working with a private investigator like who would that happen to right, right, <laughs> you're exactly, like exactly, i don't know anyone yeah. who would have yeah, fallen into yeah. a, a line of work with a, a private investigator it in is, my I think life it's like equally as fascinating <laughs> as our characters in the show find it as we do in, yes. in real life yeah it's sort of i like the way you know the um dialogues are written and the narrative, you know, because it's going here, it's going there, and you're wondering, hey, what, what happened? How do you think this is going to translate with the viewers? Because I think we are looking out for narratives like this now, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean, certainly it's, uh, what's great is that it's not just a comedy, you know, it, it has like, a, especially with the siblings, I think there's a real grounding there that that is very relatable to people. Um, and the, you know, it's it's by no means like heavy, but it's I, I think that there is a reality there that has to, you know, have that before you explore kind of going into much more comedic uh, realms with it. But it's um, th that that was always the goal, I think, to keep people guessing and to sort of like have a really fun, wild, Escapism, weird. Escapism, yeah, a little bit of yeah. a like, all right, let's just kind of go into this world yeah. and and sort of delight in who these characters are and i think that's what's so interesting yeah. is it's not a traditional narrative it, these are not really traditional characters that you see in every show totally. or tv series so hopefully it will be surprising to the viewers and fun yeah absolutely i had fun watching let me tell you i've been a fan of yours for decades you have been <laughs> immortalized in my memory as liesel forever and ever and ever oh thank you so much thank you Appreciate that. So what was it like coming on board for this absolutely crazy show and playing Rosalind? You had once said that you try to find a bit of yourself in every character you play. So what was it like when you approached this particular one? Well, to play um, Patricia's mother was easy because I just fell in love with her right away. And they have the two characters, Peggy and Rosalind, are so close and have so much fun together. And basically was there to support each other through life's ups and downs. My, my, her father, my husband leaves with a younger woman at some point. And so they bond together. Um, and uh, so basically her mother is her soulmate. And then when her mother un dies, she's just, a mess and she's grieving and she's an, she's an, an, an ex junkie and a con artist. And, but um, it was all I can say, it was so easy to play because I love Patricia so much and that and playing every moment of it was great. And you've had such an illustrious career yourself. 
I want to know, is there something that you can't do? Singer, actor, I mean, writer. <laughs> no, I, you know, I always say I, I like to go uh, where the writing is good. So when I read the script, I just said, this is, this is amazing writing. It's, it's original. It's, it's irreverent. It's fabulous. It's heartfelt. I just, I just, I have to be in this. So I was so fortunate that I could, that I could do this and, and be with, with Patricia and Rupert Friend and Brad Garrett and all the wonderful people that are in the show. So um, I, you know, I would love for us to have another season because I just want to want to keep exploring this character and be with these people and this, these writers. After the career that you've had over decades, I mean, are you now enjoying the fact that, you know, women, despite any age, have so much of agency in the kind of narratives that you're getting to see? Isn't it wonderful? I mean, now there's there's room for um, <laughs> women with wisdom <laughs> who are older because they have because they've lived a number of years. There's so much more that women have to say at every age, and I think it's just wonderful that they're writing they're writing for women, uh, uh, older women also. Absolutely. And has your process changed now over the years? I mean, is there something that is non-negotiable when you come onto a project? Yeah, I mean, um, I think the writing has changed over the years also. And I think that people want more, are evolving and want things that are more interesting and and, and the writing is is more creative. And I think within that, there's room for all kinds of people, which is which is wonderful. It opens up everybody's world when they look at a show streaming, when they see all kinds of people there. These are the people that make up the world, which is beautiful. Absolutely. Is there one character in time that you would like to revisit now? You know, um, it's an interesting thing to do when you go back to a character like we did a reunion of a of a musical I did into the woods and after 29 years we went back and did a reunion and to have lived 29 years more than you did then and to have 25 29 years more experience to bring back to the role of the witch which is what I played I mean that was very exciting and I I wouldn't mind you know revisiting Sunday in the park and maybe with the same you know because I've had all that knowledge now of life of living life and then you bring it back to a role that you know so well it's a privilege to be able to do that absolutely love the show oh Tricky, thank you wacky what was it like coming on board uh, I I just got hooked you know Patricia's a uh, friend and I had known her a little bit um, before but she's become an even better friend through the course of the show and I was completely uh, you know just engaged from the get-go reading those great scripts that are the showrunners handed me and I fell for the unpredictability of it the originality of it and the the chance to uh, I don't know go for such a tonal mix you know between the dark and the light uh, 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 and which is what we all as human beings mostly deal with our lives are never all comedy or all tragedy they're always just doing the best we can in the middle of the worst possible things, you know. And so I thought it was poetic, if if if, if that's not too sort of self-serious and also hilarious. And to, that again is a tribute to the showrunners who who wrote the script, Nancy and Jennifer and Katie, um, and uh, and then just Patricia's vision for it. I she's she asked me to read them and and invited me in. And I was just going to do one, and then I got hooked on all of them because of her great spirit as overlapped with the great spirit of Peggy. So was it also kind of cathartic after coming back from Bombshell and the kind of seriousness of that <laughs> into this really backed out show? Of course, yeah, that's a great way of putting it. It was cathartic. I I love comedy and I, I've i done a lot of comedies and you sort of alternated, but I started doing more and more serious films. It's the, the, the serious films like Trumbo and Game Change and, and Bombshell have helped in a way cope with how serious life feels and sometimes like I need to understand how this goes so getting to work on those projects has been therapeutic but 
comedy in a way is even more therapeutic because you know you can you can i don't know you can keep your your sort of overall soul status a little lighter <laughs> once you once you embrace the mixture of comedy and tragedy and again though i it was i wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for patricia if it wasn't for how she connected to this how she, how her personal energy overlapped with this and how it would give her permission to try something that in a way is even more her than some of the other characters I think she's she's ever played you know so it was it was delightful to see her bring it to life from deep within herself Absolutely what if Peggy and Austin Powers were to meet that would be interesting <laughs> Peggy and Austin <laughs> Powers yeah that would be a great you know that would be a great uh that would be a great clash. Um, they're they're both, uh, you know, very shagadelic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and also with Ben Stiller, you know, you both worked together before, yeah. and he is also one of the producers, and so are you. So, how is the dynamics? I mean, do you as director also feel comfortable playing with working with people you have an idea about, or do you yeah. like a challenge of not knowing? You know, that's want. a really good question. I love collaboration. I'm not one of those directors who just comes in and needs to control everything. In fact, the opposite. I love to 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 kind of be part of a, a, a an energy field that comes from a lot of great brains. And um, the showrunners were so excellent. Patricia was excellent. All the other cast, Matt Dillon and, you know, Bernadette Peters and Rupert Friend and all these other great actors came in and Christine Taylor, Kira O'Donnell, like... On set, you know, it was there were so many ideas and so many uh, sort of ways we could go. And thankfully, having really learned to direct doing Austin Powers, that's really was my first film and my my first chance to to work and realize that chaos is your friend. <laughs> and so the the chaos of collaboration and then the sort of um, I don't know the sort of way things like magnetic you know, forces uh, with, with the way things start to align and, and you see, oh, that's, that's really exciting. Oh, this is terrifying and scary and tragic, but now she's going to go this way and find some new great way to cope with it. Those, those moves, you know, and particularly in a show like this, which I found to be so original and thanks to the showrunners uh, and how they conceived it. So, um, yeah, it's completely unpredictable and yet inevitable each move is something that, of course, that would happen given that character and how well those characters were designed. So, uh, yeah, it's a great example of great, good writing meets chaos and improvisation and, and, and somehow something, something hopefully appealing uh, results. Thank you so much. I enjoyed the show and looking forward to a season two if there is one. Oh, Thank I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Knock on wood. Thank you. Thank you.